Hey, Nicholas here with the Backyard TARDIS uh, with a channel update. Uh, lots of updates, and I really didn't want to make this video with the pounding of rain, but I just can't seem to escape it. It's all day, every day. California's going to be a lake before we know it, uh, which is a good thing because it's been a drought for years, but unfortunately, uh, what happens to the state every time? We have like five years of drought, and then the water comes, and they hang on to too much of it, and it comes too fast, and the levees break, and there's flooding, and so that's going on. But I've had a lot of people reach out and ask me, yes, I am doing okay. One, I live up in the, the upper foothills. So I commute into the valley every day for work, but no matter what, at home, I am safe. Uh, when I come into town, I do have to be a little careful uh, going between these little different farm towns in the valley that I service. I kind of basically service, um, you know, the Yuba, Sutter, Calusa, Butte, a little bit of Nevada, like those counties right there in the valley above Sacramento. Um, so there is a lot of flooding going on, especially in some of these uh, highways in between that but uh yuba city marysville area where i do the bulk of my work uh is is doing good so uh until that becomes a problem i still got work and uh i'm doing good uh but speaking of adventures and locksmithing so you've noticed i've been on a break uh and i wanted to kind of i gave a little post but i wanted to kind of explain some of what was going on so my family got covid and it went around and I got sick for a bit, but it wasn't COVID. I never tested positive for COVID, always tested negative. And my, same with my wife, we caught some other sickness that my daughter had uh, brought from school right before she went on break. And she just got over, then we got that. But my dad, my mother-in-law, and my aunt-in-law and all them, they got COVID. And so it's kind of been around us, been the hectic of when, you know, we all live on the same property in different little houses and, and having to, to go through and keep that and, you know, dealing with my dad who's older, a lot of stress on me. Combine that with the first half of December, last half of November, first half of December, it was non-stop evictions. Now, I can't always videotape these uh, and do a story out of them because I have to respect if there are people there and they're being uh, escorted out, uh, the landlords, it's, it, it's discretion up to my customer. And of course, I never want to videotape the people being kicked out of their home. Um, I don't, I don't want to, not that I profit off of this, but I don't want to profit off the humiliation of others. I don't want to uh, expose people that way. I don't, personally, I'm a person who doesn't feel that right now. If they live nasty like that, I don't mind showing their house but I don't want to tie that to a person uh, so that publicly they're 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 shamed in that way I, I, I like leaving it anonymous of you know uh, not knowing who it was that lived there um, so uh, but you notice I had a bunch of them and then I just kind of stopped I have some that I made that I never put out I just couldn't take it doing about four of those nasty, really dirty evictions a week um, between multiple counties. Whereas normally I get like two that were nasty like that a month and maybe about one eviction a week. I was now getting every county was having me do multiple evictions a week and it just, it got, it got too much. Seeing that, you see that there's kids, that really weighs you down. So between the stress of COVID, the stress of that, also the stress of, um, you know, being towards the end of the earth. It's January now. My workload is going to slow down significantly. Um, January, February, uh, through the first half of March when everybody gets their tax return money tends to be my slowest time. October, you saw me boost up in videos then. That was a slow time. And this is a slow time. So this is the time when I might be doing a little bit more, um, but I had a lot of burnout at the end of the year. So, with that, I tried to get it ready in time, but it's going to have to wait till the beginning of February. But I've had 
been looking at my analytics. I had a number of people point this out and nudge me towards this, but I feel like I am shooting myself in the foot with my channel because my channel has just been an outlet for me to just kind of express myself. And I've done all of my interests. So I have my adventures in locksmithing vlog. And I also um, interact with a lot of podcasts and the subject dealing with a lot of sci-fi, you know, Star Wars, Stargate, Star Trek, Doctor Who. And while those do have individual audiences, like not everybody who likes Star Wars likes Doctor Who, but I generally feel like if you subscribe to me for Star Wars audiobook content or something like that, or top tens, when I do something Doctor Who, that doesn't like feel too out of the realm. Um, and then the other side of it is I'm into a lot of uh, retro gaming, uh, really like Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm kind of a you know, into the Nintendo console, like the Switch and stuff like that, and so what's coming out new with that interests me. I'm interested in just overall video game marketing, although I'm not really big into a lot of current games on, like, PlayStation and Xbox consoles. Um, but definitely into a lot of indie games and a lot of retro Sega and Nintendo games. So... Um, but that's a completely different audience. Like, I am so into Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, that is probably my favorite fandom is Sonic the Hedgehog. But I'm a guy in his late 30s uh, who a lot of people are like, okay, yeah, he talks about Star Wars or something like that. Or he talks about this. Um, but people who sign up to listen to Adventures of and Locksmithing, and then I do a whole video about um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, on hour long put and they're like why am I seeing this uh, they, they they subscribe and and what happens is a lot of times people see something they subscribe because they want to see more of that and then when they get something weird in their feed that is not something they're interested in at all they go why did I subscribe to this channel and I, my channel description none of that says anything about locksmithing um, so they go I I must have subscribed by accident and they unsubscribe. And I'm noticing that. Like, I'll have an Adventures in Locksmithing video go viral. I'll get a bunch of new subscribers. And then, you know, a week later of releasing other kind of videos, and I'll notice the subscriber count go down. And what that tells me is those are probably people who caught that Adventures in Locksmithing, wanted that vlog, but they didn't want all the other stuff. Now... Um, I've been prepping, already I was prepping, uh, with the new format I've been doing my podcast, the Backyard Tardis Random Thoughts podcast, um, to clip it down. I now have, uh, enough for about two months on my highlight reel to release one every weekday. So, I'm going to be launching that, and at the same time, I'm going to do, is I'm going to put out... Uh, starting at the beginning of February, uh, an Adventures in Locksmithing channel. My goal is to do start February 1st and just to continue on. And I'm going to re-upload everything. I'm going to have one every single day. And my goal is to also record at least one uh, regular Adventures in Locksmithing video and two shorts every week. Um, and... My goal on that channel is to release three adventures in locksmithing of my archive and two shorts every week. So one every weekday. And then the shorts is probably where you're going to see some more up-to-date stuff. I'm going to be popping in some of my old shorts, but I'm going to add in some of the new stuff in there. But the most of the adventure in locksmithing, that's going to be that. Now, I have a few that are recorded. I'm going to get them out in the month of... January on this channel as kind of my last little bit of new stories that you're going to get. But then for kind of the rest of the year, I'm going to have that channel build all the while recording new videos so that that momentum can continue on. So basically, I will be a year in advance buffer with the videos, um, which should, you know, the highs and lows. Sometimes I don't make a video a week. In other weeks, I can make three or four going to have the goal of consistency in making them, but just with that, like if I have another burnout or something like that, 
a whole year worth of buffer and videos I think will help. And I think having that be its own channel, I think it's actually going to grow. Uh, I expect that to actually grow because I think that interests a wider audience. Um, that said, you know, it won't be mixing up. If you like both, subscribe to both. And likewise, the highlight channel, um, you know, I really look at that as something for people who don't like the long form content. They go, oh man, Backyard Tardis put out an hour and a half video. You don't want to watch that. But you want to see it in like 10 and 20 minute segments. That's going to be the highlight channel is breaking that up into that. And if you just want to see the part that's about, especially when I do my Red 5 Roundup, you want to see the part that's about your podcast, it's each one's going to be labeled with links back to the podcast I'm talking about. So um, that's what's taking the longest with that, is actually making thumbnails and links. So like I said, my, my goal is to start releasing a little bit more content this month, but then come February, bring those two channels. Now, the kind of retro gaming and Sonic stuff and the sci-fi stuff... Uh, they they do appeal to different crowds. However, my main channel is going to uh, the Backyard Tardis channel is gonna still be kind of the hodgepodge. It's just me. This is this is me. This is what you get. Um, I don't want to become some big Sonic tuber that just focuses on, on Sonic and, and uh, Nintendo Directs and stuff like that and Smash Brothers. Um, that said, it, there may come a time when I do need to break that off, that, that I find that, but I don't want to do too much and, you know, really confuse people and have, you know, I'm already going to have three channels, I don't need to have a fourth channel, uh, but if that's what you're not into, you're going to see the Sonic content is going to kind of be on its own versus the, the sci-fi content is going to kind of be on its own. And if you, you're not interested in that, I don't expect you to watch it. You know, uh, you know, I'm not one of those people like, oh, I watch all my stuff, I need you times, I need that. I don't really care. Like, watch what interests you. And um, now that it doesn't have the adventures and locksmithing in there, and the highlights is its own thing, I'm hoping that I wouldn't be spamming you with too much that it would become irritating. Just a little bit of Sonic here, a little sci-fi there. Um... Outside of that, what's what's next? What am I, um, so to speak, interested in? Well, I'm interested in uh, continuing my um, my podcast highlights. So highlighting different um, podcasts that uh, uh, or showcases, I should say. I kind of stopped that. I just got too busy and that was too much work. And really, I wanted to kind of do a little bit better job. And so I want to bring that back because there's a lot more podcasts that I listen to that I want to highlight. Uh, in addition to that, what I am considering doing is one of the reasons why I do the Red 5 Network Roundups is because the Red 5 Network has been so gracious to me, so gracious, and they interact so much. So I've had such a joy with that. But I have, do have a few other podcasts that interact with me and some that have like really interesting points that they make and I would love to do more of that with the the Red 5 Network Roundup like I've got one that is talking about way too much Sonic stuff just kind of general thoughts and topics way too long I'm just talking about Sonic in this past year I've got another one coming up afterwards that it was originally part of me about that where I'm talking about all the different you know uh, Netflix and all that kind of stuff, and uh, Twitter and uh, HBO Max, Warner Media, Disney, all that kind of stuff, all, all the drama. And I'm going to release it, but I'm going to say I talked way too long when I tried to get that rambling about those things. And I realized I don't want to really talk about the drama too much. And I don't want to feel. Like, I need to review current shows as much anymore. I do like giving my thoughts sometimes, venting a little bit, occasionally. But when I originally came up with the idea of the Backyard TARDIS, um, with my friend Kevin, who's got a TARDIS in his backyard, he's the one that 
that like inspired the idea of the name and you know we still someday want to get to a point where we can get together and record a podcast and get proper podcasting equipment and do it that way but until that happens um the original thought was we were just gonna watch classic sci-fi and sci-fi from like the 90s and early 2000s together so he would show me stuff he had seen from older and i would show him stuff from my scene from when he had kind of fallen off uh you know stuff like star trek voyager ds9 stargate stuff like that and he started watching stargate and he started watching new doctor who and he and i started watching classic doctor who and we kind of missed the boat of recording this stuff with our very first fresh reactions but what i'm thinking what i'd like to do with shorts on this channel is maybe just watch through some older sci-fi and rate episode by episode in shorts to maybe do some podcasts on seasons or stuff go back to doing my top 10 stargate episodes of a season um I want to do stuff like, um, I want to do more top tens. I want to get back to that and I want to get back to my podcast highlights. I've got a couple audiobooks that I've worked up reviews for, recorded some reviews for. Some I had to go back and re listen to. I was listening to them back when I was super busy and never got to writing up the script. And so now I've had to re listen to them just to be able to do the reviews. I've got a, a High Republic book that I, it's part of my thing with Extra Techie, and I want to do the uh, third of the Thrawn trilogy, the conclusion there. Um, and I did the Corellian trilogy, went did a look back on that. That was kind of wild. Um, plus, I still haven't re-listened to this, but one of the uh, Isaac Asimov uh, Foundation books that I listened to and never did the review like I was initially proposed like back in spring of last year uh so i'm going to re-listen to those i want to get back to doing that kind of the content that i was enjoying making um and i've got a couple of reactions i've got three or four reactions that i recorded plus one while i was sick with the doctor who um special that came out on christmas day um uh trailer I, I did a reaction to that and a couple of other trailers, the 65, Barbie, Into the Spider-Verse, I don't know if I've released that one yet, all with the intent of releasing them last month, and then, like I said, I just got total burnout. Uh, so you're probably going to see that stuff I recorded in December over the course of the next coming weeks. It's going to be a sporadic coming back, it's not going to be the steady flow that it's going to be, because the main thing is is I am having to re-download from the cloud where I saved it all the adventures and locksmithing and then re-upload them to the new channel. That's my main endeavor, plus uploading all the clips I'm doing to the other channel to have it bulked out for months in advance, already read set times. And what I'm thinking is, first thing in the morning is when adventures and locksmithing is going to release. My videos on this channel will probably release around the 11 to 1 o'clock period, somewhere in there. They're going to be more sporadic, because um, they're going to be as I record them. And then the highlight channel will probably, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time, just release one of those a day, and that will just continue on. So they're just kind of some of the things that I'm thinking about. Now I want to get caught up on my Red 5 Network roundups and like I said I want to do Red 5 Network roundup and another podcast roundup and focus more on doing those than doing all the other stuff that I was trying to cover. I'm not covering it very well. Occasionally we'll talk about those things but anyways. Um, but yeah that's what I want to do. Um, so Hope everybody enjoys, hope everybody enjoys the next year, and I'll catch you in the next video.